Just tell me when to go. Hello. Well, the clear up has begun. I'm exhausted already. Uh, and uh, I've started to clear out with my friend uh, the, um, the kitchen. Uh, sheep used to get in here, so it was knee deep in urine and sheep feces. But anyway, I've got these big rubble bags and started to fill them up. Came across all sorts of interesting stuff. Gotta be careful handling that. That's uh, a gin trap. Nasty things where that bit there opens uh, and snaps the legs off little rabbits and anything else that tends to get into them. Cats, dogs, whatever. So that will never be used. And I think this thing here is a mole trap. Anyway, follow me as I go through to the chaos that is my new home. This is all some of the stuff that has just been taken out, really. Well, I don't know what the hell this thing is. What is it, fridge? Possibly an uh, old fridge. Uh, ripped the doors off, so new doors will obviously have to go in. Windows are all boarded up, but I've ripped that window out, so there's at least some light so I can see what the hell I'm doing in here. This tree is huge. Uh, don't know what to do with it. Some people say, get rid of it because it's undermining the foundations, but the foundations look absolutely solid and it's got as tall as it's ever gonna get. Problem is if you cut it off, the roots will then rot and then you will have to underpin the wall. So can't quite make my mind up. If anybody is an expert on trees and buildings and undermining foundations, do leave a comment. Come into the darkness, come over to the dark side. And this, ah oh dear, look at it. This is the kitchen. Actually, the carpet has come out a part of it, this underlay still. Uh, it's an absolute bloody mess. Um, but this was just unbelievable. So we got most stuff out of this. All sorts of weirdness here. I don't know what we got here. Well, they might be useful. Nails, they're always useful. Odd sods of, you know. Oh, what are these? What do those look like? I don't know what they are. Are they measuring? Uh, I haven't got my glasses on. Not sure what they are. Can't see whether they're... Uh, more nails. Nails are always good. I don't know what's in that. I'll have a look. I think it might be coffee. We could still use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no idea. <sighs> Let's have a look. I'm really worried actually, because I think there might be some asbestos in here. I do normally wear a mask. Don't know what that is. Can't get it open. Nothing, just assorted nails and, uh, I mean, some of these will be quite useful, I would have <clears throat> Maybe. Anyway, <clears throat> that's the windowsill. Plastering at some point, uh, but there we are. But this was all boarded up. Of course, this is all going to have to have windows in. Don't get a lot of light because of all the trees that have grown up. Anyway, the walls are this thick at least. I would like them a bit thicker. Obviously, slate underneath. Uh, this is the ingle nook, but underneath there, I'm not sure whether that's asbestos or what the hell it is. Uh, Can't see. It's difficult to say. Old uh, story sheet there, old uh, cooker in the corner. And that's about it. So I'm just going to carry on now uh, putting stuff into to these plastic bags over there. Get all of this out. Get all the underlay out. And clean up these. Now these floors here, again, look like granite. And kick this stuff away. You see? quite easy but you've got these sort of granite quarry tiles well, at least that's what I think they are they're quite blue Hang on, not all of them so I don't know whether they're terracotta or they are mm. certainly the ones in the sitting room look At least everything's coming up easy. This will have to be swept out, mopped out. 
at the moment uh, I'm sort of living outside in the tent around a fire uh, but of course as we go into winter it's going to get colder it would be great if that's not asbestos there's about three ton of crow's twigs in the fireplace so I can't put a fire on yet but there's every chance that uh, once that storage heat is removed, register plate removed, twigs all bagged up and got rid of and burned, uh, one could conceivably have a fire going in there. But who knows? Anyway, I'm going to carry on now. Uh, I'm absolutely shattered. I got woken up early this morning uh, by an assortment of animals and birds and wildlife. So I've only had about four hours sleep, but I'm going to press on until uh, until I stop uh, and have a beer or glass of wine, possibly. But anyway, do follow on and uh, I'll see you shortly. Thank you. 